everyone, welcome to all of that Sunday night nightcap. As you can obviously see, I've changed the introduction to my videos, I've changed the title music, put something a little bit different on. I'm not sure if I like it or not, maybe a little bit of feedback uh, will be useful. Anyway, tonight's video, mm -hmm. I make a, a small part for one of my friends, Steam Traction Engines. Uh, as a little bit of screw cutting, some welding, uh, quite a lot of plasma cutting, I cut a couple of flanges out, uh, I'll show quite a bit of that. I've got several videos on my YouTube channel of Richard Sentinel Steam Wagon. Um, a lot of people ask basically how it works. Well, I was down there two or three weeks ago and we actually had the front of the cab off and you can see the boiler. Uh, I took an opportunity to walk around the boiler showing the various components, what they actually do. I'm going to put this in probably part two of the video. Um, it is interesting if you're interested in steam engines, if you're not, do and watch it, but I'm sure you will find it interesting. The first thing I want to do is the draw for the 4 to 5 inch motor right micrometer and of course the little 11 by 1.5 mil tap. I'll open the bucket. So the steady flow in the end come in, I think I was 15 or 20 coming this week. Right, let's have a look and see what we've got. Jerry Gurland. Jerry Gurland? As usual, all you need to do, send me an email with an address on, and I'll get this big comment, I'll post it off to you as soon as possible. I'm going to do another draw this week, this time it's for the 5 to 6 inch more than right micrometer, and that's the full set gone. Once again, it's in good condition. There's no spanner, no test bar, but the micrometer has nice, it's free, it's in good condition. And of course you will also get one of those little 11 by 1.5 mil taps. If you want to enter the competition or the draw, all you need to do is send me an email. That's my email address up there. All I need is your name, your full name, like John Mills, not just John. The name goes in the bucket. If it's drawn out, I'll post it off to you anywhere in the world, completely free of charge. I've had one or two inquiries uh, regarding to the plasma table that I use. The plasma table I use was originally supplied to me by a company called Artec. Artec do welding machines. I've done quite a lot of video work uh, for Artec. Artec didn't build the plasma table. The plasma tables are built by a company called Extreme Engineering. Now Extreme Engineering are actually marking the tables ourselves now. So if you want to know anything at all about the plasma table, there is a link in the description box of the video which will take it to their website. Extreme Engineering are also sponsoring my YouTube channel to a certain degree, uh, especially with the plasma table. I've got one of my favourite jobs to do, uh, making parts for world traction engines. Basically that's a blanking plate of a steam cylinder on a Marshall traction engine. And what the lad wants is some threads put in there, an extension piece making into that valve. That looks like 3 8 BSP. Here's 3 8 BSP. I can cut end threads no problem at all. The worry I've got is there's not enough depth of metal there to get a 3 8 BSP thread in and be safe on high pressure steam. I've had a look at this with a file and I think that's made a cast iron. My idea was to put the pipe through and put a ring of welder on the inside. I cannot weld to that. So what I'll do, I'll go and cut out a a piece of 10mm steel plate with a plasma cutter. I've drawn out the new flange. I'm going to cut this out of 10mm plate. Let's have a quick look at the 3D version of it. That's it there. One thing I have forgot to do is put a hole in the centre to let the steam out. That's the centre there. Put a hole in. I'm going to make the hole 8mm. That's it there. Have another look. Right, so we've got a, a hole in the centre. I'm going to open that up to uh, tap and drill size for 3 8 BSP. Right, I've opened a program called Sheet Cam. I'm going to bring the drone into here, import drone. It's on a desktop, and the drone was called, there it is, uh, Johnny Flange. Open. Right, that's the actual flange there. Now we need to set some parameters. I'm 
I'm not going to use 10 mil, say a 3 8 steel. Okay. Right, so it's actually sure as the cut past shows how it's going to cut it. It's obviously going to cut the circles first because if it cut the outside first, it would fall out and not going to cut the circles. Well, actually, there would do we run on here and simulate how it's going to cut it. Click start. See, it's done the holes first, centre hole, two end holes, and then cutting the outside shape out. I'm not going to cut it as quick as that, but I'm not be far short of it. Right, so we're going to convert that to a J chord. Once again, it's called Johnny's Flange, save. That's it, saved. Right, so now we can basically transfer this onto a memory stick, go up the top of the garden and cut this out. Because I've burnt out so neatly, I'm going to cut another one, but I'm going to cut this this time with the holes just about on size. I've put them in rolling just to make the holes up a little bit bigger. So that's the piece we've cut out. I'm going to make the holes slightly bigger to get the the threads into it. But you see, it's a pretty good replication of that. I mean, that's that was probably made by a blacksmith. In fact, it was made by a blacksmith. It's and that's modern CNC. But the holes are the same, so it should it should be perfectly all right. I think the first thing I'll do is I've got a bit of metal steel bar here. I'll put some 3 BSP threads on one end of it, get it to fit into there, and then we'll work out what we're going to do with that end. Bent. This end's got a hole in it, but we need a hole in it anyway. It's a lot better. I need 2.8mm off that to 
sure they don't have the right size to put a 3 PSP fin on it. Touch it off. One mil cut. Put a nice lead on for the die to start on. This is a bigger spanner, this is the one one of the zero sent in for us. So that was going to there with some tape or some sealant on that be fine in that end. Okay, so that's the three eighth BSP. Obviously it's bigger than three eighths. What it the 3 8 and 8 is the size of the bore through the pipe. So the 3 8 pipe, bore pipe, that would be a 3 8 hole going through there. So it's the size of the hole, not the size of the thread that the, the 3 8 relates to. machine the hole out in the centre of this and tap it to 3 8 BSP simply way to line it up in a 4 jaw chuck just put a centre in like that and nip its jaw up and turn and basically it will hold it in the centre and within the few flower being in the centre Right, so it's hard up against the back plate. They're all tight. So that hole has got to be running true.
little bit deeper, just about there, and that'll screw in nice and tight. It's well on the inside edge, and that'll be fitted in there forever. use the lid to screw it in oh dear me that's tight I've got a little recess machine in there I'll put a bead of welder on there and skin that face flat and that's going to be that Part of it finished. Make sure that's suitably welded on, then it'll be going anyway. Machine this face flat. Right, that'll do for John. I'm just going to put a counter sink in there just to clean the inside of the pipe up. Certainly looks the part. I'll put a pressure tester, but I can't see that giving any problems at all. 